Hello and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed. Um, today we're gonna pick up where we left off last time. Um, we learned some information about John Pitcairn. I think we got rid of William Johnson. Yeah, I think we're gonna get rid of John Pitcairn today. I'm not sure. Yeah. I did some homestead missions off screen. Then some naval missions off screen. Just fast travel real quick. Uh, I'm not sure where though. Well, I'm just gonna go here, I guess. Going back to the homestay. Okay. Pretty close, pretty close. I'm gonna make it. Uh, a little bit of damage. Was that bear? Let me kill him real quick. They have bait. Bait. Is he gonna go to it? Oh, there's two bears. Can you get to them here? No, he found me. Got the bear. Finish the bear. No. Finish the bear. Oh, two bears. Oh, yeah. What a bounty. What a hunt. We chilling now. Sorry guys. Sorry boys.
Oh Nama. yeah. Nama. Right, I guess we made it. I guess we made it. We made it. Lexington Concord. Star Mission. April 19, 1775. Lexington. Damn rebels, lay down your arms and disperse. No disperse. Hold your position. Ready. Cowards. They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me, Order. Return fire. Return fire. You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. James Barrett. Alright. Go on now! <coughs> oh no. On, we'll Give me a horse. Get on a horse. We got 2 minutes 56. Get moving then, with little we have to time. make it in less. Come on, horsey. Stick together, boys, and keep the pace. Can do this. To Concord, lads. They take you prisoners. Run! They've taken my brother and poor old Robert. We need to do something. I can't rescue hostages when I have to give me three minutes. The bridge. The bridge. James Barrett. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. Then why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. Enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure. Wow, Paul Revere got captured, bro. <clears throat> the ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. You'll be impressed, man. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. Hell yeah. Ammo. You, best be you have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. This guy's voice is deep. Oh no. 
they marching on us, man. Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Red Coats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Watch and learn, bro. Wait for my signal. Okay. We got this. Wait for the sick open fire. One more, one more, one more. Come again, bro. No. Shoot. Prepare yourselves. Wait for the signal. Shoot. So long, bro. Fire! Wait for the open fire. Prepare yourself. Fire now. All right, should be good. Fall back! Fall back! Hell yeah, you coward! Fall back! We did it! Turning tail! Blood and iron. We gotta link up with James Barrett now. Real quick. now bet you are it takes a true monster to do something like this at least they're gone I should have struck when I had the chance do you know where Pitcairn could have gone back into the withered bosom of the British no doubt so that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity I need to find him every day I wait more will suffer chin up friend Many who should have died today now live because of you. 
And, and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. It's hard, man. It never is. True. True. Like the stories in this game, man, the wisdom you get, stuff. I mean, you'll take all of it to heart, but you know, you learn something. Mission complete. For the support of the glorious cause, June. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is to no pay, man as George sir, Washington. I beg to leave to assure really? the Congress that I as no pecuniary several. consideration Ooh, could have Charles prevented Lee. me to have accepted this arduous employment, at the Do I know of my you? Domestic ease I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I do not Connor, wish to make any I want you to from meet. Me. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I doubt not they the last will discharge, thing we need is and that is all I desire. To blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed commander in chief, George Washington. Dollar bill. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Probably pissed. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether your different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Word. So, we in Philly now. Which is... 45 minutes away from me. In real time. There's no map. Who that? Oh, it's Samuel again? Still here, are you? I was just wondering what happens now. There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We'll determine public opinion. This seems dishonest. Perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Okay, that's interesting. Indeed. It's like you do something good and then you say you did something bad, but if you do something bad... I don't know, man. This world is weird. Oh, 
get the viewpoint real quick. No. Get this viewpoint real quick. And stay your best. What are you aiming at me for, bro? I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Yeah, I'm not doing that waypoint. Samuel bro. Adams. Too hard. Follow me. not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. That thunder. Putting them just up ahead. You call me. I don't care much for your excuses. That's a wall zone. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeze is closer to the city, but it is also closer to their artillery. Yo. I read my case. I'm going back to Bunker Hill. Good this guy looks like a maniac. General Putnam. What? I'm looking for him. I was told he'd be able to help me find him. He's stuck away inside that city with no reason to leave. 
As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush them out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, then... Before to get off, his ours can come forward. Fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. Watching him. Everybody's making fun of this guy, bro, but he's like... He's the man. You know when you continue to prove someone wrong? You know that feeling, bro? Can't really see me. I'm gonna kill you all. Double kill. So I guess we gotta replace the ship flag to signal our success.
So do we gotta do both ships or just one ship? Man, this city is destroyed. Man. This is how they built America then. I mean, I don't really know, man. You know, it does say it's uh, made by fictional people, you know, historical events that twist it up. You know. Might have some truth to it, but don't take it all to heart. Don't take anything to heart. Well, that's a game or life. You gotta make sure, man. Any trouble? They need better numbers, you say. Better weapons, better training. But I do not care, and neither should you. For what they have in material, they this lack in awesome. conviction and care. But not us. We have discipline. We have order. And most importantly, we have passion. We believe. So maintain vigilance. Serve your ammo. Ensure a proper line of sight. And above all else, men, do not fire. Until you see the whites of their eyes. Well, I'll be dead. You did it. Hell yeah, that we was did. quite a speech. Lies, all of it, I'm afraid. Still. Such words have carried us thus far. And what of Pitcairn? Pitcairn. He's left Boston. As I said, he would. And set up camp on Holton Hill. There's no good way to get at him. Not with that maelstrom roaring down below. I suppose you could circle around a bit. And wait for us to fit their ranks. There is no time. I will have a chance at direct approach. That's twice today you propose the impossible. I see no other choice. Not because you're mad to march here, son. Oh, yeah. I expect an apology on my return.
passing through. Assassinate John Pitcairn. Okay. That took a while. Why? Why did you do this? To protect Adams and Hancock and those they serve. You meant to kill them. Kill them? Are you mad? I wanted only to call it. There was so much to discuss. To explain. You put into that now. If you speak true, then I will carry your last words to them. They must lay down their arms. They must stop this war. Why them and not the Redcoats? Do not think we ask the same question of the British. These things take time. And I would have succeeded had you let me play my part. Part of the puppeteer. For better we hold the strings on another. No, the strings should be severed. All should be free. And we should live forever on castles in the sky. You wield your blade like a man, but your yep. mouth like a child. No. The more will die there. Because of that. Sahan you and I know ten on the set takwe. Tini of Neyaho ten at on the set takwe. Sent in Neyaho ten is six katana. May peace be with you, my friend. May peace be with you. Covered in mud and blood. Bodies everywhere. That's the price. How dare you think up of me like that? Why don't you just go out there and just help this cap retreat? Don't ever do that again, you hear me? God damn it! General Putnam. 
you live. The same cannot be said for Pitcairn. Well done, I suppose. <laughs> but it matters little now. I'm ordering a full retreat. We have lost too many in exchange for too little. If the Tories want this hill so badly, let them have it. Boston is the true prize. They want Boston, bro. We have a bigger problem. What do you mean? This can't be right. It says they plan to murder Washington. No dollar bill. No, my money. They're gonna murder. Washington bill. Sequence seven complete. Hurrah. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists, and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. 1776, Homestead. Yeah, bro, careful, How Connor. Is the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursued Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Wow. Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Spoken too soon, man. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could... Trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. An assassin as well? tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the commander-in-chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. Oh, it's time to go to New York, baby. New York Underground. All fast travel stations found. Uh, I mean, we finished sequence seven. That was intense, bro. The plot grows bigger. Connor is being ungrateful for a minute. But he soon is going to learn, I guess, because that's the assassin way. You know, you learn along the way. You'd be a foolish when you're young and getting older and older, you get wiser. Same with everything else. Not such an assassin, but yeah. I'm going to end it here, guys. And thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. And uh, see you next time, man. Peace.